Can you live stream with the Rodecaster Pro? Let's find out. Well, the answer is a resounding Yes. In fact, it's ideal for live streaming, particularly when you're on the move, in a different place, at a conference. This fits in your carry-on luggage, and you can plug in a couple of microphones and a few webcams, and you're away. Let's find out how, and let's hop into Wirecast and get this all set up. So I've got my microphone on input one, and over here on Wirecast, I need to add the Rodecaster Pro as a layer. Uh, so I'm going to do this. You can do exactly the same as I'm doing with your preferred live streaming software. Works in OBS, vMix, and others as well. And we're looking for Rodecaster Pro multi-channel audio. That's the optimum, although the stereo audio will give you an overall mix coming out of the desk, which you may prefer. But multi-channel allows a few extra features, so I am going to select it and add it here. And then when I put it live, like that, you'll hear I'm echoing back. There's a lot of echo. So I'm just going to disable that for the moment, but you get the idea. Adding the Rodecaster is really, really easy. A webcam, do this on a MacBook Pro or any kind of portable uh, computer, and you are away and live streaming using Wirecast or your preferred software. Now, the cool thing about adding Rodecaster multi-track is that you can select individual tracks as individual layers or uh, rooted audio into your live streaming software, giving you more control as to what goes out on your live stream. Let me show you how exactly this works. And by the way, you'll need to enable this on the Rodecaster Pro, and I do show you how to do that in my previous video about multi-track recording using Adobe Audition. So once I've selected the Rodecaster Pro multi-track audio, I'll go over here and we'll look at the properties and you'll see there it is, Rodecaster Pro multi-channel audio. Uh, and then if I click over to the speaker icon, you will see here all of the channels that are available to me from the Rodecaster Pro. So you'll see here, I've got the left and right mix selected at the moment and there's my meter to show audio is coming through. You'll also see audio coming through on channel three. So if I take LNR off there in Wirecast and make channel three LNR, this is now just a feed of my microphone, that's channel one only, which is really cool. And I can do the same. Uh, four is uh, channel two, microphone channel two, five is microphone channel three, six is microphone channel four, and so on. Then you've got seven and eight combined will give you the USB output, the computer output. You've got nine and 10, which is your plugged in phone output. Then you've got 11 and 12, your Bluetooth output. And you've got 13 and 14, which are these jingles. So if I play a jingle, you should see it will appear in 13 and 14. Mike Russell! And as you could see, 13 and 14 tickling up there, uh, showing that those channels are the jingles only. Most of you will want the simple configuration though, channels one and two, that's the stereo mix, coming out of the Rodecaster Pro. But yes, the Rodecaster Pro is more than ideal for live streaming. Pack that in your carry-on with a couple of Logitech webcams and a MacBook Pro, and you can live stream from anywhere in the world that has an internet connection.